Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Today I'd like to do some environmental tech stuff, but first of all I think I need to do some Flux Network stuff. So let's have a look at that first of all. Flux Network is a way of getting power about if you don't know what it is. And it's a suggestion by Bob the Big Bat. So what I need for that is some obsidian. Well, well lots of things really, but we'll start with some obsidian. And some ender pearls. And what else do we need? I think, oh yes, some redstone. We need to burn some redstone. I should have to do that, that easy. Come along to some flame here and just chuck the redstone in. Make sure I've got my magnet with me. It's there and it's actually, just chuck it in and I get it back as a flux. Turn that off again, don't need the flames in. So now if we look at the uses of this stuff here, what we can make are these flux cores. I'll make a few flux cores like this. Obviously I'd need a lot more ender pearls to finish that lot off, but it doesn't matter very much for the sake, because I've already made some of this, just test it out, see how it all works. And then the uses of this, we can make a configurator, we'll do that in a, well actually I've already done that. A flux block, which is quite useful. Uh, a flux controller, which we need to make. And that basically is lots of flux blocks. So here, as you can see. And then we've got a flux plug and a flux point. Now what I want to make is a couple of flux points. Let's make a couple of flux points. And it's all around these flux cores here. You see of that one. I'm not going <laughs> to... I did not get the blocks. Honestly. Try that again. So basically the flux points are removing energy from the network. In other words, it's a bit to take the power out of the system. Um, and that's about I don't really need for now. Let's put this back. Got some steel, some flux, some obsidian, we'll put back in the thing. And I was in the nether. And I was in the nether for quite a long time, as you can see. I've got all these ores here, some nether rim ore. And that's actually interesting. It can make a very small nether portal with that in a way some icy quartz or some overground netherrack i'm not certain benedict and opal or netherrack i've never seen this before actually so let's just take my lucky pickaxe here and see what happens if you break this stuff up i don't think it's got any uses of its own so what do we get some blood opals from primal core well, one in this case, <laughs> and some XP, of course. But I got lots and lots of it. Uh, prosperity. I got two stacks and a thirteen. So today, let's get on with this. What I want to do here is, I would like to maybe put some stuff down underneath here with this network. So, for example, let's set this to. I'm going to be off track, aren't I? If I want to do this, if I, if I want to un drill underneath all of these blocks here. I just set my pickaxe to two by one and then mine that one away and it mines the whole row underneath this like that until I took and actually I dug out the last block in there so I can put underneath here some for example some power um, I'm not going to do that now I'll just fill it in now also I've made another another redstone flux tap here and what I'm going to do with this is uh, let's have a look at what I've already made for the this stuff so I made a basic flux storage we've got some more of those flux cores we've got another flux point and a controller so it doesn't matter where we put this stuff down it's just completely independent from everything else so I'll put it say for example I'll put the controller down here like that and I think that's the storage isn't it this is the controller put it down like that and then we have to basically name these things so we come along here and we select a network so you can create your own network uh, the default is your username plus network and I've already created one of those I think so I've got Duncan's network like that and then with the um, this flux configurator what you do is you just right click this like this and then it copies the settings and you can right click this and then you see straight away it's got actually it's already got the power into this because I had it before so it pastes the configurations onto things so for example on here we can put the 
put the plug in here and then right click it and it all suddenly becomes configured so if I look at this now you'll see it's Duncan's network flux plug and it's got a priority of zero and I've enabled the input and output so it's actually taking the power out of the reactor here I've also made these redstone uh, legacy ports here and the idea of those I want to get all thing powered up so I don't think we need any of these for the time being let's go and put these away so my inventory doesn't get too full up so that's the power bit of the system and with the plugs we just put the plugs down on things and then they basically give it power so the next thing we're going to get rid of these blocks I've got on me so let's just get rid of these blocks I don't really need these on me do I not for the time being anyway energize another one okay that's everything I've got in here I think I can get rid of that one and prosperity shards I've got over there in, oh maybe we've got some prosperity shards in here nope must be a mystical agricultural box let's go and shove it in there then the idea of that is that I spent an hour just doing going around, around the nether digging up uh, prosperity up so I can then carry on with the um, OP stuff so here I've set up a builder and this builder is going to go down um, here so I've got a shape quarry and I've basically set the shape quarry up so we're at currently at block 109 so I've set it up to be 111 blocks high I think and the middle point is 55 down so I can just simply put this into there like that we can enable the, the preview mode and you can see it basically goes down there and if you look at one well, you can't see it if we look it'll go straight down to bedrock that's the intention anyway let's turn that off let's take our flux plug here and put this onto this somewhere like oh, for instance at the side here we'll do shift click that one then right click it with the configurator and so it's now got power in here so that was actually quite fast so then all we need is an, uh, an inventory Let's remove this out of here have i got a chest about it's only 110 blocks it's going to mine up so it's not going to be very big no no chest there let's go and get a chest and you'll see i did this as well so everything that was coming from the from the miners goes into there and then from here it goes into the storage anything it finds that hasn't got space i've been putting down there and the rest of it goes into the slave controller to go into the system well chests I've got 11 in here let's just take one out but what I could do is probably make another ender chest probably be a good idea or we'll use that one there so now all we need to do is turn this on on for active so it's not I've got I've got it's got a lever down here let's just get one of these levers out and turn it on uh, and it should just simply quarry everything up including this block here I hope as you can see it's already picked up some coal or some ender or some tin or some terra clay and a block that's interesting is it finished yet I should have done this block why didn't I do this block to get that block So we should go straight down here to bedrock. Let's have a look. Oops, missed. Yep, it has. And that's what the um, the one of the any of the resource miners needs from um, environmental tech. He needs access to bedrock. So let's go back upstairs let's pick up the quarry, I don't need the quarry down here anymore that was simply to make a hole I can't shift right there after, it's basically no tool isn't it, so you just break it with anything and then the and the chest itself, let's have a look in the chest oh, there's nothing in there really is there, so let's just take that out and then break away the chest 
Actually, I don't want to break away the chest yet. I want to put some blocks down. So let's put some blocks down. That was a bit of lag. Now I can break away the chest. I'm going to go up five blocks. And there's a reason for that. So that's position two, three, four, and five. I think that's where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is to take this. Let's take that one. So what we need here is the tool. And the tool, it will be, have we got that with me? Yes, I have the assembler. So if I shift right click this with the assembler, it should break. It didn't actually last time either, but I can use a pickaxe on it, so no big deal. Shift right clicking should break those things. Now let's go and put this up here. So that's directly above that hole there. And I'm, uh, where's it going to? Here. So this is the Void or res Minor Resource uh, Tier 1. Let's pick up these blocks. We don't need these on here. So um, just check sure we've got none. So now, when we, I think we can, I don't think we can left, no, we can't left click that with that. We have to use the tool to tell us what we need. So there we are, 24 structure frames, tier one or above, 20 structure panels, two lenses and, oops, and one le lens of any type. Okay, let's go and make that stuff. I prepared all the stuff, it took a while. <laughs> there was quite a few bits of, uh, of this to do here. I've got my magnet on, haven't I just need to move my magnet out of the way, otherwise it'll take care of all the, <laughs> the blaze rods from in there. You see what I did is I also put down some litherite blocks down there so I could uh, simply right click those with the, with the wand to place some more blocks down. Let's just break away one of these. And we can put some more down like that. That's actually coming out of the dank null. So now let's just make one more of those. Where is my... Here we go, wand of the forest. See, I prepared it all. Throw right click that on there, and you see that on the right hand side there's a sort of a green block, and that's like a timer. So let's right click that and get another block of leatherite, which is here. So, and you can put that down and it makes interconnects and all the rest of it. So, I've got all of this prepared in my inventory, and it should be let's get rid of this stuff I've got in my first of all. Terra clay, okay, that's new, didn't have got that before. That should all be in this one here. Everything we need, I hope, for this next bit. So, what I want is, I was trying to do some solar panel stuff as well. So we need iron bars, gold nuggets, and that I think we need litherite, we need litherite blocks, 26 interconnects, um, I think we need iron, or oh, maybe not iron actually, we need a diet. We'll just take stuff, this stuff, oh we need the cleanser and a cleanser core. Now they're actually fairly straightforward these things, the recipe for that is just some blocks with this connector. And this is the connector we've got to make some connectors. So let's start off with this structure panel. Um, can't see any there. Structure. Oh, there we go. So, structure panel. We need these connectors. The connectors are made like that. Ah, oh, that's where the redstone is good. So we need... Ooh, did I make these last time? I can't... Yes, I did. I don't need any more of those. Fine. Sorry. So we need these structure panels, and I can make those straight away. We need 20 of these, so let's make 20 of those. That's where the connectors are for. We also need tier one structure frames. This is the one that's actually expensive. So they got the interconnect, and we need 24 of these, don't we? Which is just what I've got here. Um, lens of court, and that one. basically I think that's everything we need. Let's go and put it. Let's go and assemble this thing. I 
we've got it up high enough because there is a problem so let's take the assembler go above it and right click this and it starts to place down blocks as you can see in the position they should be in and we should end up with no more blocks in our inventory we've got two interconnects so that's fine two interconnects let's have a look at this oh it's working this time fantastic as you can see it's got the the core going down here now the one I want this is a clear lens I'm going to break this clear lens because I don't want to use a clear lens where did that go I was over there now I need my magnet on again let's get my magnet out I want a light gray lens I'll show you why in a second so light gray let's have a look I've got two let's look at the uses of this one so with a, a void or minor it tells you what you've got so for wood that's actually sorry a botanical miner we want the resource miner here so with for coal for instance you need a black laser lens and the one I was wanting to get hold of was prosperity shots wasn't it and for that one I think it's towards the end the reason I'm going to do this one is because that's platinum and mana fu fused ore there's a few which don't exist I think that's prosperity ore so we need a light grey laser lens so the recipe for that is some light grey flour well make the fl we'll make the light grey floral powder so we need a oh yeah so we want a light grey leaf so let's go and get that one so all we need for that is three petals or three of these magic magical petal things and so let's look at the use of those so we want the light grey one which I think is light grey flower this one here take those let's just simply then craft those into petals let's get the uh, petal and mortar out I'm not sure if we've got a petal and mortar in here or not or whether it's in there let's have a look it might be in this chest chest actually yes it is so we need a die like that and then we can put that with one of these lenses here we get a light grey lens so, so that should be the ideal one for prosperity or in fact when I was testing this I didn't get any prosperity or at all <laughs> so we're gonna, re we're gonna replace this lens up here simply right click it and it should activate again as it has you can see it's activated now with its laser bit the next thing we need to do I'm going to take this um, ender chest here takes a few seconds to do this it's quite a hard block so we can place the end of the chest wherever we like really so I'm going to place it down here like that and I'm going to give this power and I'm going to use the flux point that's what it was all about really let's put it one on the top like that let's configure it Sh wrong one <laughs> try again Where's the configurator gone to? Do I put it back in here? Too many panels. Can't remember where I put things. Here we go. Simply right click this like that. Try again. <laughs> and then it's configured. So this thing's now got power. And it should actually start to be mining. Let's have a look. You won't see it in here because it'll go straight out and it'll, it'll end up in here. So nothing's yet there yet. As soon as it happens, oh, oh yes, of course. Let's just turn this off. Otherwise, we can't see what's actually happened. Uh, I'll set it to high, so we can't see blocks coming in. So I'll leave that for a second or two. We should get another block. Let's go and inspect what's going on in here. So the controller here, place configuration, based on what I wanted to do. You can see the network connections here. So I've got a flux point and that's using 662 RF per tick, which is fine because the 
this reactor is making 1200 RF per tick. It's turned off at the moment. Let's go and make sure it's turned on. Has it got power in it at the moment? Let's just turn it on. So the power will actually start to go up, as you can see. So that's enough power to, to do this. We could actually do the same thing on the resource mode and the quantum quarry as well. I could actually remove this, put another plug in here. Let's do that actually for fun. So let's get my tool out. Oh, I've got it already. And let's put a plug on here. And let's configure this plug. This will actually use all of the power, so I've got to be a bit careful with that one. Let's remove this out of here like that. Now that's going to drain all of the power out of the system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the priority on this one to being I think we have to set it to zero. So that means it's going to get power. Let's do it like this. I'm not sure which way around it's actually saying. So let's say it's two. Okay, so it's got no RF per tick in this one at the moment. And I suspect that's because the a power has probably been drained out of it. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's going up. That probably doesn't help very much, does it, when I'm thinking about it? Let's say this one has got a priority of one. And that's actually still working, as you can see. It's got 662 RF per tick on this one. So now we should be able to look at the network connections. So we've got basic these flux points here. This one's actually transferring nothing. I don't know why actually it should be transferring some power. Hmm. But you can also do this. I think you can do show connected blocks. So it tells you what it's connected to. Like that. Maybe because it's got no, no inventory on the bottom of this. Let's go and put a, an inventory at the bottom of that, or somewhere like that, just to make sure it's working. I'm not sure it is, to be honest. A bit... Ah, oh, I'm just wondering if it needs a... Oh. I'm just wondering if we need to switch it off and on with a lever. We can do that with the quantum quarry, actually. I just can't open the chest. <laughs> Oops. Um, but it certainly did something, as you saw. I got already got some stuff in there, in that chest. Let's put the chest. How can we put the chest somewhere else? Let's put the chest here. Maybe it works here, actually. And sure enough, it is working. So that chest is going to get full fairly quickly. So let's go and put a lever on here and make sure we can turn it off. I think we could turn these both of these off actually. Let's just put a lever on here like this. No, nope, that's not doing it. No, nope, that's not doing it either. Okay. What have we got in here for power? No power. Let's double check the network again. Oh, this is still outputting this, and so it's got the higher priority. I think that's the way it works. But you could also put on here a lever. So the lever by default is uh, off. So since we turn the lever on, the, this will actually go down to zero RF per tick, like that. So then we turn it on again, off again, and then we have RF. So it is actually working. Let's go and now check what's actually in here. And sure enough, it's picked up all sorts of blocks. And so what have we got here? Apatite ore, uranium ore, gold ore, amber ore, nickel ore, thirty quartz, yellowite, mana infused, black quartz, copper and aluminium. So this will carry on mining over the time of the whatever we're doing, basically. So all the power is going through there and the rest of this should be fairly empty. Yeah, it's empty because all the rest of the power is going into this but of course this is going to get full fairly quickly and as you can see it picks up all sorts it quires all sorts of stuff in here not just 
flat plants and things which actually come from the nether as well because those are, I think there's a nether blocks rather than anything else grasshoppers and aphids <laughs> interesting in fact I don't want that to actually work let's just turn this one off here oh, it is actually out telling it's got output now so how do we tell this to stop nope or you can set a limit let's set a limit to say 25 so you can set a limit to that so it's only transferring uh, 25 RF per T or this one's actually taking FE per T so you can actually change that as well so, so you've got in here connections and then you can say oh that's actually saying this flux point here what have I done with that has that turned it off no I think you change this create network edit network edit network so you can change the network here to being redstone flux but you can change it to um forge energy which is fe like that. in fact there's lots of different types of energy on this one so now you should see things being output as that's strange this is now i think it's doing still rf per tick oh didn't save it did i let's just do it because i have to click the save button let's go back again now and have a look at these connections so now you see it's 25 fe per tick that's okay we'll leave that like that that's not going to use too much power and it will actually still mine a few bits and pieces in there nothing really exciting so that covers that so what i wanted to do with this thing was to get prosperity oil and i don't think i'm going to get any that's why i went to the nether and did some quarrying so let's have a look in here what we've got now we've got some dimensional shards some lapis lazuli, some coal, and some iron. Because that's what we're there. So this will carry on. So we'll come back and look at that, hopefully, if I remember, towards the end of the episode. <laughs> so the next thing I wanted to look at in here, you'll may have noticed I've picked up some more bits and pieces. Like I've got another diode in here. And I've got some more lithorite blocks, some more interconnects. I actually wanted to make some more bits and pieces. I've got some retail ore here. Where did that come from? Let me get rid of that. Yes, we can. Good. Hopefully, I'm taking stuff I wanted actually out of the system. So let's have a look now. And terra clay. I haven't got a space for terra clay. Ah, here we go. Now I made a chorus flower. And the recipe for this is actually not too difficult. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. So we need a chorus flute with an alchemical catalyst. The alchemical catalyst is relatively straightforward. Just brewing stones, gold, living rock, and a mana pearl, which is just an ender pearl thrown into a mana pearl. And then you make this alchemical ca catalyst. And I've got one of those. I made one already, he lies. So what you do to make this thing here you need a chorus popped chorus fruit we got some chorus fruits I think here we got some popped chorus fruits I made some of those before and I can make them from the magical flowers anyway got my magnet at arms because I can hear the, the clicking of the blaze rods <laughs> oh and I set up a, a small storage crate here with a, a filtered item hopper in here the idea of this one if you look at this right click it and you can see what i've got in i've got little out blocks and interconnects are being picked up in here and they should be white listed and you can change the radius so any of them that when i break them they get put into there if i don't pick them up on myself so to do this all you have to do is this just underneath here let's take that out of that of course i've got the magnet on now and then we put Oh, it's under the pool, sorry, wrong place. Try again. So directly under this pool, here we go and put this alchemical catalyst. Like that. And then all we need to do is throw in the chorus fruit. And we get back a chorus flower. So this is actually the, the main recipe for doing I'd, I don't know whether I need to leave this here or not. 
I'll remove it because I'm not 100% sure about that. So let's just fill that in. And actually, I'll fill in this one as well for that matter. While it replenishes its mana. So in here now we can actually use this chorus fruit. And the uses of that was actually to make a botanical mana tier 6. So you have to go through each one of these and go back to the lowest level, which was this one. And then we could make a botanical mana. And the uses of that, oops, wait one. Let's go put this down and have a look what we can do with this one. I suspect it's going to need almost the same stuff as we did the previous time. Let's put this down. And let's take the assembler and left click it. Yeah. 24 structure frames, 20 structure panels, two laser cores and a laser lens of any type. Now that's one thing. The next thing I would like to do is actually to make the next component, which is actually... Um, I'm not sure I can do it. I had a look and I thought, well, maybe I can do it, maybe I can't. What I'd like to do was a solar panel. This one. So the tier one requires some type of solar cell. And I think the cheapest one of these was the Iridium one. So let's have a look. If we can't do that, we can't do that, we can't do that. If we keep clicking down here like this, we can make a litharite solar cell. I'm missing all the blocks. So we need an interconnect, some photovolic cells and some litharite crystals. We've made those already. Redstone we've got no problem with. So these. So it's just four lapis and one uh, inserted quartz. No, the quartz, sorry. So let's take a few of these. And let's take a few lapis. So basically, it's just this. That'll make 16. So now the uses of that, well, probably the best way to do it is this way, isn't it? Have I got some in my inventory, some more stuff prepared? I've actually prepared one of these, a litherite solar cell. And I've also prepared some photovoltaic cells as well. And some redstone lapis and some that. Where are the crystals? Crystals should be in here got plenty of crystals and plenty of blocks as you can see so now we could actually make this but the thing is I don't think we can make the lowest level tier so because it's going to complain oh I can fantastic I can do it because you need the lowest level of the crystals to do that the next one up here we need this one uh, oh actually that's not too impossible ah oh. Oh, we can do it good. I think we could do it. I thought we had to have some crystals anyway. Let's go and put this down. Because these are great. These produce lots of power. Especially the top tier ones. More power than you can ever imagine. So what do we need for this? Four null modifiers. 16 structure frames. And nine solar cells of any type. Well, actually, that's not too difficult. Structure frames tier one. Is that the one that we've already made? Let's have a look at that. Sixteen. Starting back to structure again. Yes. So we need sixteen interconnects. No big deal. Let's go and get those sorted out. Now I have to be careful here, because otherwise I'll end up making. If you leave this in here too long, it makes null modifiers, which is okay. We don't care about a few null modifiers, do we? So that's going to take a while to cook. It takes about three times longer than the living rock. And we need 16 of those. So that's going to take a few minutes to do. Have I got any interconnects prepared? I've got five. got any more about no take this structure take that with us 
Living Rock also noticed was in second place as well. It was, I think, in second slot, yeah? That's right. Because we needed a lot of Living Rock to make these lithorite blocks, as you already know. So let's go, actually, let's go back and have a look at this. What is that? <laughs> Draconic or of no name? Hmm. So we've got two little redstone or destabilized redstone or oil shale energized netherrack. This block, which looks like it's dangerous. Lead or nether quartz or and charge set is quartz or. Let's just put this block down that I hasn't got a, an image. Let's just see what it looks like. If it can actually go down. Oh yeah. Phew. Just draconium or so draconium or so that's not too bad. I'll pick that up again. Let's get the pickaxe up. That should have an image, shouldn't it? Oh yeah, it should do. That was strange. Let's put that back in there. Now it looks better. I didn't think it was no image. I don't know actually why that did that. As you can see, so far we've got no prosperity or and that was the whole purpose of doing this in the first place. Now, have they cooked yet? No, not yet. But they will be ready in any any second now, I think. And we need 16 of these to make the structure blocks. It takes quite a long time. And normally I end up here waiting, because I'll show you what that happens to that one. If you look at the uses of these here, if you go to the Botanic Pure Daisy, it makes no modifiers. It doesn't give you an idea how long that takes, but the recipe for that was live right through the, the pure data to make interconnects uses of that. Makes normal modifiers, and then you can start to make accuracy modifiers and all the rest of the bits and pieces that we actually personal nanobots and stuff like that. Great ones. And I don't think it actually takes that long. There we go. Now that got picked up that time. Let's put this one down. That'll make the 16 that we need. And they'll be in here. Actually, we nearly we can almost do it. In fact, let's go make these structure panels tier one and the other bits that we need for the solar panel. So we can make 13 of those. No pro no problem. We need 16. So we need three more. And then. We needed some null modifiers. I actually made some of those by accident. That's how I discovered <laughs> how I discovered that, that thing was what well, that process was happening. So what else do we need now? Nine solar cells of any type. So solar cells. Of any type. These are probably the cheapest ones here. So what can we make of those? We need to oh, go internet connects. So we need another nine interconnects. This is the this is the prob this is the where it takes quite a long time. Um, I think I'll come back when I've got those nine there. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I've got the interconnects, and I've also made an energy chest at the same time uh, to put onto the quarry as it happens because we're going to use the power from the solar panels as well so now let's have a look at them. we need three more of these I think the recipe for that three more of those that's 16 we also needed some lenses um, panels didn't we so the panels of any type I can't see them here we go So we need nine of those, so I'll just remove this one here, and then we can make nine of these without actually wasting any materials. That was good. Really. So I think that's everything that we need for this. Where's that good? No modifier, structure frame and nine solar panels of any type. So let's break this away. I don't know whether it'll work inside here. So let's break this. I don't think we can just right click this. Oh, yes, we can this time. 
strange that didn't work last time does work this time get rid of these don't need those now this time is actually at the bottom so I'm going to put it down I think I'll put it down one block above the ground let's just try it let's go and do it over here where the power is I'll have to move this at some stage because I'm not going to have a big enough space here but we'll, well, for the time we'll do it like this if I remember rightly that is it's been a while since I did this but the solar panel I think goes at the bottom of the array this time so let's right click this stay out of the way a bit because I think we get in towards in the right place so it should make it should actually tell you there you go and there we go solar panel how about that and I don't know what power it's going to generate and in fact it says here let's go I'll tell you what we'll do let's break this picking my block and make a plug that uh no the other one don't we need the connector for this one so the point yes yeah, plug i think it's what we need don't we so i think i've still got some materials left from that one five of these yeah i think that's what we need so let's have a look at the uses of that one so we need to make the plug which is this a flux block uh have we got any flux blocks left no we haven't so we've got to make a flux block so i need some more flux ha ah, i think i put that in here i did oh that's slash pile what did i do with the flux block here we go flux i think i've got to make some more of the things as well so let's have a look it was obsidian i think take a stack of obsidian the recipe for that because we're going to need eight of those aren't we oh, yes we need a, a eye vendor let's make a couple of eye vendors like four so those plus i of those just just if click them in will actually do the job for that one so then the recipe for this one we can make 16 of those and then the uses of this one We need to make the block. I think we only need one block, don't we? Now the uses of this, <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? it? Can make a plug. So that's a plug. So this plug will be, be can use to uh, take power out of the solar panel. And the reason I'm not sure if this is going to work is because it, I might need to put it outside. So let's, you can attach it any way you like. So let's get the configurator out here and right click that, and then it's configured. So that's producing 549 R FE per tick. Let's go and have a look at the controller here. Network selection, connections, there we go. So we should be able to see if we go down here, the flux plug is producing, solar array is producing 662 RF per tick. So that happens to be almost the same as the Void oil resource miner. I wonder if it can produce more. And this is producing twenty-five, which is that which is exactly the same as the quantum quarry they've set up. So, <laughs> but so that's quite nice, isn't it? So that we've got power coming from there, which is empowering this. Everything's coming into there. And let's just put down the. Um, so look at this chest. See how full it's got. So we've got some more stuff and nothing desperately exciting in here. Let's just put the end of chest down underneath it. And we can certainly get this to get a bit faster. Where's the spot there? Huh? Funny, you can open end of chest when they're underneath, but you can't do when you've got the chests here. So, that's it for this episode. Well, two new constructions are built. Um, I would like to do a void resource miner which basically gives you blocks I think importantly it gives you micro and um, maybe a botanical miner will also do but of course there's a lot of work in order to prepare the blocks for this <laughs> those interconnects take quite a long time so anyway until next time I wish you all the best bye for now